Hey, just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on uh, filtering by tag. So I just made a dummy table here with different products, and you can see they're related to a tags table. Um, looks like we have uh, tag one, one, two, and three right there. Um, so if you're just wondering how we actually would go about filtering that. Uh, so let me jump to the API, and I'll just create a... Uh, new endpoint here. And let's say example. Uh, so let's go ahead. We want to filter by that tags ID. So we'll add a, a tags ID input there. And then let's go ahead and query all the records from our product table. Um, so here in the query all records function, we have this filter tab, uh, which is super powerful. And then we have this by custom query. So if we open this, uh, we can actually add these different where statements. So on the left side, we can always start with the database. You'll be able to access the different fields um, in that table that you have. So we can say uh, where the tags ID um, is equal to, and we'll grab that tags ID input. And right above here um, on the statement, we can choose to ignore empty values. So that way, if there is nothing in the input, we can get all uh, products back regardless of uh, their tag ID. Um, and of course, we can chain different statements in here, use and or in group statements. Um, but for this example, we'll just have one where statement. We'll go ahead and save that. Um, and now, for example, if I put in tag ID one, I think we should get two records back. Yes, we do. We can see product B and Y both have tag ID one. Um, if we put in two, we just get one product back. And then let's go ahead and not have any tag ID and we would get all of our uh, products back.